Hi guys, this is Tony with Thinner Geek Designs, and I'm here with you for another video. Today we're going to be comparing HTML versus WordPress. This is going to be an interesting one. So before both fanboy sides start going nuts, this isn't going to be an in-depth one with code versus code versus all the details that every fanboy needs to know. No, this is for an overall understanding which should be used when. Me personally, I use both. It just depends what the situation is when I need to use either or. And most of the time, I don't do that much of heavy code in Dreamweaver or Bootstrap. When I use an HTML website, I mostly use Adobe Muse now just to speed up the process of not having to worry about code. I mean, honestly, it's whatever tool gets the job done. As long as it gets done, doesn't matter really what tool you used. And I know all the arguments from both sides, and they're both valid, you know. HTML was so much better because it's always been there and it always will be there no matter what. And WordPress is better because it's more flexible and it can do this, it can do that. Third platforms. Honestly, they have no bias for you. Just choose which one you want to choose and use it. I'm just going to give you the options of which one you might want to use for which time you want to use it. Let's start with HTML first since that's the older one. When you want to use an HTML website, you want to make sure that it's a small website and that you don't need to update it that often because if you have to update an HTML website that often it might be a little cumbersome but it's time that's eaten out of your day regardless. And you want to make sure it's small because editing a large HTML website can be a pain. The thing about using an HTML website is you're going to have full control of that website no matter what. You'll be right in there to that website to know exactly what's going on with it at every point in time. Also, with an HTML website, you won't have to worry about third-party plugins having a hole in it and allowing people to get into your website. Or if it randomly decides to update and you didn't know that update wasn't going to work with your theme and it creates a major conflict that you have to try and fix. You won't have to worry about that with an HTML website because you won't have to worry about plugins. If you need to add a feature, you'll have to learn how to code to add it in. I would say the best place for an HTML website is a website that has 5 to 10 pages mostly maybe 15 to 20 if you really want to push it it has little to no change mainly a static website with a short amount of pages that needs to be done quick and that way you can have it done you don't have to worry about updating to the most recent version of wordpress to get all the security patches that you need it just makes it a lot easier on you doing a small website and code it out or use a service like adobe muse and not even have to worry about the code and get an HTML website that looks great. Let's talk about WordPress websites. WordPress websites are great for if you have a content-based website or a magazine website, a large website. A large website needs to be constantly updated. I mean, it makes it a lot easier to go in the back end and create a new post and get a new blog post going or add a video. It makes it so much easier and time, time's money. So the faster you can work on a website and the faster you can output content, the more money you're making. But then again, I guess it comes down to what you're more comfortable with. If you're more comfortable coding out a whole website that has a blog section in it and you want to update that every time one comes out, hey, each is your own. Go do it. But if you're not comfortable in code and you don't want to figure out how to update it or organize your pages the right way, then I say go with WordPress. And maybe even if WordPress is too daunting for you or it's too overwhelming for you, Maybe go with the Wix website or Squarepace website. Those are just as good as website platforms. It's just what are you more comfortable with? What are you looking for and what's your price range? That's what I'm do it for this one, guys. I hope you liked it. Check out some of the other Wicked content on this channel. And also remember, web design videos come out every Wednesday, so stay tuned for that. And if you're not subscribed, get subscribed so you can keep up with the content that comes out on this channel. See you guys in the next one. Bye.